I got a comment from Yusef Animates recently asking me to look into a problem he's having on his iPad, specifically with Rough Animator. And when he imports audio, it changes the horizontal timeline zoom. So I'm going to take a look at that on both the iPad and on the Mac today. On today's episode of the Expat Animator. Okay, so let's start out on the Mac. I've created a quick little project here of just a, a circle animating real quick. And from here, if we go to import audio, let's see what happens to our timeline. Let's see what that does. So it doesn't change our zoom level on the timeline. Now, if I want to do that, I got to come over here to the preferences and change my horizontal timeline zoom so that I can see the full length of the audio clip. So let me just play this real quick. This is an audio test. So real quick, I want to just show you I'm running a Rough Animator version 2.11, which is the current version right now. But on my iPad, I'm running version 2.08, and I'm going to upgrade it to 2.11, and let's see if that helps the issue. So let's flip over to the iPad, and let's see if that helps the issue that Yousef Animates is having. So I'm just going to bring my iPad here and put it on top of my tablet. So you can see here I am running version 2.8. And if I just go back to Rough Animator, and let's just go ahead and open up an audio test file here. And you can see I've only got one frame. And let's go ahead and just import audio and see what happens to the timeline. So it doesn't change the zoom level of our timeline, but you can see that the audio waveform doesn't even start until the end here because I've only got one frame. So what I would need to do is I would need to pinch to zoom with my fingers to get the timeline to show the full amount of that waveform. So version 2.08 doesn't change the timeline horizontal zoom. You have to use your fingers to do that with on the iPad. But let's go ahead and update this on my iPad to 2.11 and see if there's any difference. So you can see here now I've got Rough Animator up to version 2.11. So let's go ahead and see if that helps us. So let's open that same test file here. And I'm just going to delete the audio waveform. So let's select this the audio layer and we'll come over here to modify layers and delete that layer. Now let's import that same audio file or let's actually zoom in on our timeline with our fingers and get as zoomed in as possible and now I'm going to import that audio one more time here and let's see if it changes the zoom level on our timeline and it did not so if Yousef animates is having an issue with it changing the zoom level um, I'm not experiencing that but once the audio file is brought in, if you're too zoomed in on your timeline, you are going to have to pinch to zoom to show the full audio waveform on your timeline. And if I want to bring in another audio track, two version 2.11 will let me do that. So before we could only import one at a time, and I'll just bring that same one in again. And now I should be able to move it and now I've got two audio files within Rough Animator, and you can move them around. So, Yousef Animates, if this doesn't help you with your problem, uh, leave me another comment. But uh, as far as I can tell, the horizontal timeline zoom on the iPad seems to be working okay for me. Now, the difference between the iPad and the Mac version is, let's flip back over to the Mac. The Mac version has an actual timeline horizontal zoom slider. And the iPad doesn't. The iPad, you have to actually use your fingers to pinch to zoom. And that might be a feature that would be cool to be added to the iPad version is to actually have a slider like this. But I don't know if it's necessary. So hopefully that helps Yousef animates. And if you haven't uh, updated to version 2.11 yet, uh, I, go, I would say go ahead and do it. It seems to be pretty stable for me so far. And that'll do it for today's episode. My name is Patrick Davidson. This has been another episode of The Expat Animator. Thanks for joining me today, and I hope to see you next time.
If you found today's video helpful, you might like some of my animation classes over at Skillshare.com. I'll put the link in the description below.